Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to introduce a new series of videos that I'm going to be creating about Lightroom Classic. Now Lightroom is developed by Adobe specifically for photographers, and it is a very powerful tool that you can use to both organize and edit your photos. If you would like to learn more about Lightroom, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of the videos in this new series. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. When you first open up Lightroom, it's going to open you into the library module. Now, the library module is where we import our photos. It's where we browse the photos that we have imported into Lightroom, and it's where we choose the photos that we want to further develop. Okay, the library module is split into four main sections. Over on this side, we have the panels that we use to find the photos that we want to work with. Up on the top is where we change the modules that we are working in. On the right side of the screen is where we can add keywords and manipulate the metadata for our photos. And then down in the bottom left hand corner is the button that we use to import our photos. So let's go ahead and do that and get some photos into Lightroom. So you're going to want to click that import button and that will bring up our import dialog. And again, in this screen, we are split up into a few different sections. Over on the left-hand side is your sources. So this is where we go to find the photos that we want to move into Lightroom. Up on the top part of the screen is how we're going to move the photos. Over on the right-hand side, this is your destination side. So we are going to take from our source drive and move them to our destination drive. And then finally, down here is your import button. And we'll, we'll get into that one here in just a second as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get some photos into Lightroom. I'm going to plug my SD card into my computer. And you will notice that it automatically detected that I plugged in this SD card. So I'm going to click on that. And this will open a preview of all the photos that are on that SD card. All right, so up at the top here, you'll notice we can copy as a DNG or just copy the photo the way it is. Okay, so if we choose to copy it as a DNG, Lightroom will convert all of my photos into the DNG raw format. Okay, so DNG was created by Adobe. It's a raw file format and it is pretty much universal format at this point. Now, I generally don't convert to a DNG. I just copy them straight over. To me, it doesn't matter. Lightroom reads almost every raw format file that's out there now. Okay, so now we're going to come over to our destination area. This is where we choose where to put the photos that we're importing into Lightroom. Now, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind. When you're importing photos into Lightroom, you are not actually importing the photos into the Lightroom software. So what, what happens, Lightroom will make a preview of your photos. So it is creating a preview that it puts into a database and it links to the files on your destination drive. Okay, so we're going to come over here and we're going to find the drive that we want to put these files into. And I want to use this drive that I've named Tutorial. So we'll open that drive up and you can see that Lightroom is prepared to make a file structure inside of that drive. All right, so there's a few other things that we can do over on this right-hand panel. We can come up to file handling, and in file handling, we can choose to build different types of previews. We can build smart previews. We can tell Lightroom not to import duplicate photos, and we can make a second copy to another hard drive of our choice. There are four different build previews that we can use. Okay, we have minimal, embedded and sidecar, standard, and one-to-one. -one. All right, so we're going to come down here and we are going to click standard. Now, like I said before, you can also build smart previews. I don't use smart previews, but that is something that I will dive into in a, another video. One thing that I do check is don't import suspected duplicates. So that's very helpful if you forgot to format your SD card and you come in to import another group of photos, but you still have a group on there that you've already imported. 
Now, what this will do, we'll go through and uncheck the photos that are already in your catalog so that you don't import them twice. And again, you can also make a second copy to another hard drive. That's great if you don't already have a backup system in place. I strongly suggest that you back up your photos. And again, that is something that we will delve into in a future video. Okay, and down here we can also add to a collection. And I don't do that during import. If I put photos into a collection, I like to do that at a later time. All right, the next tab is file renaming. This is something that I don't do. I will rename files further along in the process. But if you choose to rename your files, you can just click this box. You can pick a preset that Lightroom has already built, or you can create your own. And Lightroom will show you an example of what the name of the file will look like down here. Now, like I said, I don't rename my files at this point of the process. Okay, so we'll also come down into this apply during import. What this allows you to do, if you have a preset that you like to use on every photo, you can come in here and you can pick that preset and on import, it will apply the preset to every photo that you bring into Lightroom. So I don't use presets on most of my photos, so I just ignore that box, but I do use this metadata option. What this does, it allows me to put my copyright information right into the image file. So you can also add keywords to your files right here on import. So if every one of these photos were taken at the same place, I could come up here and I can type the name of the place that they were taken in, and that keyword would be added to every one of these files upon import. All right, and finally, we'll, we'll come back to the destination here. So what Lightroom is doing, it is organizing everything by date. So I've got two photos that were taken in 2018, and they were taken on September 8th. And it goes through the metadata on all of the photos that you are importing, and it will separate them out by date. Okay, you can also organize by just putting them into one folder. So that will just drop everything into a single folder on your hard drive. I don't like doing that. So I prefer to organize my photos by date. And if you click on this box, you can change the date format. I happen to like this one. It'll create a folder for the year and then subfolders for the day that I actually took the photo. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up the way that we want it, we're going to come down here and we are going to click Import. So I'm importing from an old slow SD card right now. It's going to take a few minutes and I'll, I'll come back when they're all imported. All right, so Lightroom has finished importing these photos and now we know how to import from an SD card. But let's keep going and let's import some photos from an external hard drive. Okay, so I'm going to unplug my SD card and I am going to plug in an external hard drive. Okay, so now I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to click import. And again, it'll open up our import dialog. You notice that the SD card is now gone, but we have a new drive. It's the SanDisk external hard drive. So I'm going to double click on that and this will open up 10 more photos that I have on this external hard drive. So this is pretty similar to what we did before. We're going to choose our source device. We're going to come up to the top and we're going to decide, do we want to copy as DNG? Do we want to copy? And we have two more options now. We can move or add. Now move is just like a cut and paste option. It will cut these photos from your source drive and paste them into your destination drive. If we add, it will leave the photos on your source drive and just add them to the Lightroom catalog. So again, I am just going to copy these photos from one device to my source drive. Okay, And again, we come up here, we set everything that we want. And everything is still set up the way that I like it. So I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to import these into this folder. So again, we just come down and we click import. And again, this is going to be a little bit faster because, because the external hard drive that I'm using is a solid state drive and it's 
pretty quick. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to the catalog and it'll show us that we just imported 10 photos and they are showing right here. If we want to see everything that we imported today, we'll come up to all photographs and now you can see everything that was imported. So that's how we import photos into Lightroom. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so that you are notified every time I add a new video to this Lightroom series. All right, I hope you all have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.